know, in, uh, time is always of the essence when it comes to emergencies. And maybe it's easier to make that point uh, by using an example. In November 2016 in Melbourne, there was this huge thunderstorm over the course of two days. And it was, a, it was very hectic and there was a lot of emergency calls. And this took a toll on the response times of the rescue services. And at the same time, uh, there was an unusually high number of asthma attacks happening that resulted in nine casualties, which normally doesn't happen. So they lacked this immediate, real-time and already interpreted information that would have allowed them to act on it, to have something, to make decisions to mitigate that situation. Well, how can AI help? Maybe let's think for a second about the job of a call taker. So they take the calls, they take all the information from the caller and enter that information to the system. Sometimes they even stay on the line for, for a minute to guide the caller through, the, through some sort of emergency procedure until help arrives, while at the same time orchestrating all that response and send help as fast as possible. So there is no way they can detect any irregularities or similarities or uh, pro process all that information. And even the head of the control center, it's, it's not humanly possible to, to process and in interpret all that information that comes in in a, in a situation like that thunderstorm. So there is that missing piece and that's where AI comes in. So what Hexagon did is um, they put some machine learning, some fuzzy logic and otherwise um, advanced statistics into the dispatch software. It's called Smart Advisor. And it, it's, it's like a second set of eyes really for, for the, the people in the control center. There are a number of different artificial intelligence agents that continuously mine the real-time dispatch data for similarities and correlations and statistical outliers and, and things like that to really detect information that would otherwise remain hidden. To talk about the future of emergency dispatch software, I would like to come back to the example uh, with the thunderstorm we used before. So how could Smart Advisor have help in that situation? The statistical agent, for example, would have clearly indicated that there is a statistically abnormal number of uh, asthma attacks and would have indicated that, and notified the user of that irregularity. And the, simula the similarity agent, on the other hand, would have indicated the similarities between different event comments, like there is a man with breathing problems and maybe there is a wheezing child, something like that, a connection that you would not easily make. And on the other hand, the, the, the correlation agent would have indicated this potential correlation between the thunderstorm emergencies and the asthma attacks. So in the future, the, the dispatch software will have that possibility to provide the user information that is very specific, very targeted, and real time, and most importantly, already interpreted, so that they have something to make decisions upon that they never had before, and eventually make cities safer.